Equestrian Gamers, Cooley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the very exciting Valentine event on Wild Horse Islands. Now this is actually their second Valentine event and oh my gosh the difference between their first event and this one is mind-blowing. Absolutely massive. Now we do have quite a lot to go through. Usually my event videos are on definitely longer videos because there's so much to go through. So we best just get straight into it. So yes, I'm actually riding Enzo today. I thought this was the most appropriate time to ride him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's start off. We are on mainland and one of the areas that you definitely want to know where to get to is the portal. So this portal here will take you to Sky Island where you can get lots of goodies. Now if we, let's go have a look there first actually. We'll close off chat. I've been working hard getting accessories and stuff like that. But this is Cloud, no not Cloud, I keep calling it Cloud, it's Sky Island. Isn't it cool? How awesome is this? So very clear signs, which I really, really appreciate. Oh, perfect timing. My horse needs caring for. So what does my horse need? My horse needs to be cat. There we go. I just spent all of my Valentine token. So that was perfect timing. Okay, so there's a few different ways that you can go. So there is a Valentine show jumping. Now, Enzo isn't my fastest horse, but we shall get... Oh, oh. We shall get there. Here we go. All right, here it is. Isn't it adorable? Like, oh my God, look at these jumps. And the teddy bear one. Oh, it's just so cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely adorable. Very, 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 very cute. So there is actually, whoops, here we go. So you can actually do it like race style. So then you earn some Valentine tokens. See how we go. I love this instead of just a stock standard. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. A stock standard race. Really, really cool. I really do like this. There is a stock standard race for the Valentine event on mainland. Oh, where are we going? Oh my gosh. Okay. Turn, Enzo, turn. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. Okay. Sharp turn, turn, sweetie, turn. We're stuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, nope, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> Nearly done. All right. Two, one. <laughs> there you go. Oh, sorry. So, yes, you do get both. So, you do get the tokens and the velvet hearts. Now, while we're looking at this, actually, this is something that was causing some confusion to players. There are two types of currency in this event. You have Velvet Hearts. I will show you how to get them. And you've also got the Valentine Tokens. They are two different currencies. And you will need both of them. So let's head. You know what? We're just going to reset. Like so. All right, so there are two different options. So you can go to Cupid and you can go to the Cloud Fountain. We're going to head up to Cupid first. So this is where you want your Velvet Hearts. Up, all the way up. Thank goodness there's a barrier between the clouds or I would fall so often. Easy. Whoop, here we go. So this is Cupid. Lover boy. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. Okay. <laughs> so Cupid is after Velvet Hearts. Now you can give him 10 at a time. Whoop, 
Yep, there we go. So yes, please. <laughs> give me 10 of them and I'll give you something special. <laughs> I butchered that. Oh my gosh. So you will get a special record for ev uh, record reward for every 10 velvet hearts that you give Cupid. So once you give a total of 1,800 hearts, um, you will receive the Love Dapple Frisian, which is standing right there. So you will receive one of those event Frisians, which is really, really cool. So definitely worth um, giving stuff to. Now, there's lots and lots and lots of different things that you can get from Cupid. So here's an example here. So we have Candy Heart Auras. There's all different auras. You can get the halters as well. The stuff that you get in this... Um, event store you can get here so it's definitely another way to go about getting items that is super cute so you can't get this aura in the store so it's definitely worth make sure that you um, come see Cupid for sure there we go so we've got the Valentine halter in the red uh, red ruby tier there's lots of auras so you've got the rose aura a love letter aura um, there's shields that you can get as well. Let's give him some more. Does angel baby magic? Okay, that's adorable. There we go. So love letter. So this is something you can get in store, but by going to Cupid, you can get it in all different colors as well. Now he will also, you do have the chance of getting one of the carriages because there is a special carriage. Oh, another love letter. Oh, that one's cute, actually. Fabric red. Very, very cute. And you can get the heart teddies and just anything and everything from Cupid. Oh, now that is gorgeous. <gasps> that is stunning. Oh, hang on. I need, I need to put this on. Okay. Going to remove the pink heart aura and put on rose aura. Oh, I love that so much. Oh my gosh. If you actually watched my Valentine event uh, predictions, I actually did get some right, which was really, really cool. Um, the teddy bear plushie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. So extremely excited for that. So I was correct with that. Um, and the heart-shaped balloon as well. But I love the plushie. The teddy bear plushie is gorgeous. But oh my gosh, yes. I need to design a horse around this aura alone. That is so cute. It suits my hair too, <laughs> which is really nice. All right. So you get lots and lots and lots of um, different colored items from Cupid. But you've also got the option of going to the cloud fountain so let's head back down oops head back down there boing, boing. now the cloud fountain takes more velvet hearts like a lot more than um cupid does because it's going to give you rarer items so i really love how it's split up and I've been saving and saving and saving. I've been grinding so much for like hours on end to make sure I've got plenty to show you guys. Oop, here we go. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this one takes 100 velvet hearts at a time. But there is a chance to get um, different auras. So the other auras, which is floating cloud aura or the floating heart. There's a chance to get a love arrow lance hair dyes, which is wonderful. So you don't have to, um, you know, pay in the store for them. You can get hair dye. The heart head bopper. So this is Robux items, guys. So you got the chance to get Robux um, items for free. Oh, there's the floating cloud aura. Um, the heart balloon and also the carriages as well. So lots of stuff that you can get. Floating cloud. Let's see if we can get a die. Oh, that's the floating heart. And it's different colours. Okay, that's cute. Very cute. 
There. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, excellent. Now I don't have to buy it from the store. So I got a heart carried. So this one is icy blue, neon, and blue. That is perfect. I needed that for this video. Oh, another one. That's actually a nicer color. Oh, I like that. Okay. Floating aura. I don't know how many I have left. Let's have a look. So we're looking in your resources. Okay, 197. So I get one more go at this. And the floating cloud aura again. I kind of want to... Okay, since I'm using up all of them anyway, <laughs> it took me so long to accumulate. And I'm just like, you know what? I can spend it all in like five minutes. <laughs> Let's do that. We're going to head back up to Cupid. So I want to see what other... Oh, don't fall off the edge. Oh gosh, I want to see what the other, um, some of the other accessories. And there are items, um, oh, I think I said that. Oh, well, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> there are items you can get here that won't be in store. Hey, Cupid, I'm back. Let's spend all my velvet hearts. So, Rose Halter. Does poopy magic. The tail hearts, which are cute. So that's fabric green and light brown. Eh. Not too fussed with that color. Oh, the heart balloon in yellow. The heart shield in icy yellow. Got the English saddle pad. So this is the Valentine hearts. There are two different um, patterns, which I will be showing you guys as well. Got the heart glasses. Pale heart, so an obsidian and emerald. Oh, yes. Excellent. Because I definitely want to collect, um, like, have all the accessories of each pattern as well. So that's the head bow in Valentine Heart. The candy heart aura. Oh, and that's everything. Okay, so how many have I given you? 150 so i definitely still have a long way to go before i get my um valentine frisian from here thank you so kindly cupid oh my gosh this aura so in love with this aura okay gotta keep going gotta keep going up oh. can't reset okay Bang. oh wow oh you fall so much further than I thought you would. Oh my gosh. That was a huge drop. Okay, here we go. Back to mainland. <laughs> All right, here we go. We made it. Okay, so let's talk about our velvet hearts and our Valentine tokens. So starting off with your velvet hearts, which is the currency you need to use in the Sky Island. So what you a... What you a... <laughs> What you are looking for is these huge, oh, there's one right there, big heart-shaped rocks. That is your velvet heart. So this one right here, and you want to get your pickaxe out and tap on it to mine it. So there you go. So that is how you get your velvet hearts. Now there are events. Do we have one on at the moment? We do. Okay. These events will pop up in chat as well. So a Velvet Heart Meteor has impacted Luna Island. All right. So we shall go have a look at that because it will give you a lot more heart, uh, Velvet Hearts, like a lot more. So it's always good to keep an eye on chat um, and race towards where the Meteor has landed. Makes it so much easier. Okay, so we've got to go to Luna. Oh, I think Queen is there. Let's see if we can get there before Queen finishes it off. Okay, which direction are we going in? Direction? Yes. Let's see if we make it. Oh, you can see it there. So see that massive heart, like massive. That's what the meteor looks like. See if we're fast enough. We'll, we'll sneak up on this side. We'll sneak up on her. Oh, the tree's holding it up. We're just going to go sneaky. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There we go. So 26 from doing that. <laughs> Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Let's get back to mainland. So that is how you get your velvet heart. So vel uh, velvet heart shaped rocks is what you're after. Now for your Valentine tokens, which is what you want for buying things from the event store. So for the tokens, which are these ones up here, you need to do things that typically give you experience points in game. So we're talking about mining, cutting trees down, catching horses, fishing, doing quests. But the best thing, like my favorite thing, is looking after your horse. As you can see, Enzo needs to be cared for. That's what this symbol here is. It means that he wants a pat. So we're going to give him a pat. And that gave me 36 of the tokens. So definitely best way, always keep a horse on you, whether it's following you or if you're riding it and keep an eye out for when it needs to be taken care of. Now, what I did, which I wish I did it yesterday, but I didn't even think about it. But while I was collecting Velvet Hearts, because they will pop up all over all the islands, is while I was racing around looking for the heart rocks, I stopped and mined every tree and every rock and caught every wild horse while I was looking. So, and that actually worked extremely well for me. I wish I did it yesterday, so this video could have been out sooner, but... Anywho's, <laughs> it worked really, really, really well. So everything you mine, it won't always um, give you tokens, but the huge majority of the time it does. So catching horsey. And I just kept going around and around forest, actually. Um, I chose Forest Island because it's got lots of trees. <laughs> so I could chop down all the trees. There you go. That's six tokens. And I just went around and around and around. And I actually timed myself. I did it for 15 minutes. So for 15 minutes, I went around on Forest Island. I mined the trees, the rocks, caught the horses and looked after my horse. Um, I think it was three times I cared for my horse. And in 15 minutes, I got over 1,100 tokens. So I really actually like that method i think it's a good method i'll definitely be continue to use but the reason why you want the tokens is if you want to buy directly from larry so larry on any of the islands you can go to event shop and you can buy these from him so it, the dies and everything so there's two different ways to get stuff you can do the Go to the Sky Island and just hope for the best. <laughs> or you can save up your Valentine tokens and purchase them from here. Again, you can get those items um, from the fountain if you don't want to pay Robux. But the chances are slimmer. So I went ahead and I got everything from this store just so I had everything. And I just thought it was a lot quicker. Um, and easier to do that instead of just, you know, trying my luck out. But yes, that is how you get um, all the different stuff. And now the race is located here. Doesn't mainland look good? You can't cut down the pink trees, though. I've tried. <laughs> I did test it and it doesn't work. But there is the race here as well. So this will um, give you a reward as well on completing. So we shall go around and do the race. Oh my gosh, the memories though. Oh, because the first Valentine event, um, the race went up in the sky as well. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was actually um, the day the event came out. So while I'm filming, that was yesterday. The day the event came out is actually the day that marked one year of me playing Wild Horse Islands. So I've officially been playing Wild Horse Islands for over a year now, which is crazy. It does not feel like a year at all. I have no idea where the time went. 
absolutely no idea. And I thought it was pretty cool, though. It was really, really cool. Just a little, you know, a little happy side note. <laughs> when you go up in the sky. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny because when the event started, because, like, I knew nothing about the games. You know, it was the first event. I didn't know what to expect, but I was running around mainland and... Of course, you can't see the race unless you're on it. So I was like running around mainland seeing people flying up in the sky. And I'm like, wait, what is this? Are they hacking? Like, how are they doing that? And it's because they were doing the race. So, oh my gosh. I wonder if you can still fall off the race. I know you used to be able to. Hmm, I don't know. Why not? Oh, yes, you can still fall down. <laughs> there you go. Thankfully, you can just quit race. All right, on to even more things. So there has been a couple of changes um, to some stuff as well. So your um, accessories and your dye shop now has more items, which is awesome. There we go. So a lot more items coming up in the store, which I really, really love because sometimes I'm after a very particular item. So I have a more cha uh, better chance of getting it quicker. There we go. So a lot more items, which is absolutely awesome. There is also... Now, I turned it off, but there is a new um, setting with show captured horse information. So for that one, you've also got, whoops, sorry, you've also got auto pin quests. But for this one here, um, you guys probably would have already turned it off because it was on automatically, but you can turn it off if you didn't know you can. So I'm gonna catch this horse here. And as soon as I catch it, it gives me all of the information. So I thought that was really cool. I do have it off though, just so, you know, I, don't, I catch a lot of horses. So I do keep that off. So that's another really cool thing um, that came with this event. That's staying in game. Everything else is limited time. Like all the Valentine stuff is limited time. Uh, but that those sort of things are staying in game. Now, you can sort your horses now by breeding cooldown. Here we go. So that option is there. All my horses are locked. All right. I think, yes. So, um, like, Isabella, that's Isabella 2.0 was going to be. Um, she is the longest that she has to wait until she's breedable. So she goes down to the bottom. And horses that are ready to breed are at the top. Now, of course, event horses are not breedable. So that hasn't been changed. They're just sitting there because, you know, they're sitting there. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Another inventory thing is you can search for items in your inventory. So down here, you can actually click and type in... Um, what you're searching for. So like I put Valentine, started to write Valentine and all my horses came up there. If I want to look for my paints, there are my paints. Um, Appaloosas, all my Appaloosas, which is so, so, so good. So, so good. Does it work for, uh, oh, hang on. I'm going to get rid of that. So for accessories, um, there we go. So auras, all the auras will um, come up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh my God, look at the teddy bear. It's so cute, but it's absolutely awesome. Especially for us who collect a lot of stuff, that's going to make everything so much easier. So much easier. Alrighty, what is next? So I'm reading all the information that Trick posted on Discord, which he does with every event and update. So I'm just going through all the information so you guys have it as well. Okay, so pinning the quest. Yes, we've went through that. You can also, oh, this is really cute. So want to help get your friends into Wild Horse Island? Invite them to the game, and when they join for the first time, you can teleport to Tutorial Island to help them out. So I thought that was a really, really cute idea. Really, really cute idea. We did have a updated lighting, um, reworked harvesting to support multiplayer harvesting, like the um, Heart Meteor. 
because um, multiple people can um, harvest a meteor at the same time. So the animation, um, this is like just little side notes. They fixed the version one Frisian look around emanate em, animation. And the infernal horses now have infinite resistance to lava, which is really, really cool. So you can still use the lava cakes on the regular horses to make them resistant as well. But yeah, the infernal horses are now infinite. There are um, there is a new crafting color which you guys did see when we were getting the accessories called fabric. This is not limited time that will be staying in game. And reduced lag when opening an inventory category with a lot of items like horses, um, accessories, stuff like that. So they are all <laughs> they are all um, included as well. They are all the little side notes. Okay, so we have covered the two different currencies. We have covered the Sky Island, so where you can go um, get all different accessories and auras and dyes and all of that fun stuff. I'm making sure I'm not missing too much. I will be showing you guys um, the accessories that you can get in the store and then um, a couple of the auras as well. I won't be showing you guys absolutely every single aura unfortunately because it will take me way too long way too long to actually get my hands onto them so i will show you what i currently um have at the moment what else what else what else what else Oh, yes. So we will look at also there is new limited time craftable colors. So do I have enough? I'm not sure. I may have to collect some more. So these are the four limited time craftable colors. So you can use this on tack. You can use it on your island, like for your barn um, and stuff like that. But definitely get them while you... Um, can now these use your valentine hearts if you have valentine uh not valentine hearts sorry velvet hearts if you have velvet hearts left over after the event ends because the event goes for two weeks you can still use them you can still craft with them so once you have all the items and accessories and horses and stuff I really recommend that you stock up on Velvet Heart so then you can make um, items like this, like this um, saddle here, after the event ends. Definitely highly recommend that you do that. But I will be crafting all of these colours um, and I will show you guys what they all look like. I'll also be showing you guys all the dyes, the accessories I've got and, of course, the Valentine event horses. Now, just a reminder that the horses, um, all of the accessories, stuff like that, this is all limited time. So you need to get in and get as much as possible while you can. And in particular for the horses, so for the Valentine horses, they can be caught in the wild on any island except Roleplay Island and your personal island. And you can get them in store for Robux. And for your Valentine tokens. So you do not have to buy, like spend Robux to get the horses. You don't. There's no horse that is Robux only in this game. So if you put the time and a lot of effort behind it, then you will be able to, you know, you've got that chance of getting everything without spending Robux. Now, for my trick um, is absolutely to always check the stores. Every time it says in chat that there's a rare horse for sale on mainland and forests, etc., etc., go check those islands. Absolutely, because I my first three horses. So before I started catching the Valentine horses, the one of um, which actually I put in a shorts video, I got them all from the stores for tokens. So you have to keep an eye out for when there's rare horses for sale and check it out. Definitely the best way to go about it. Alrighty guys, so I know it's a lot of talking. I know, I know, I know. 
All right. Before we have a look at the a close up look of the accessories and the horses and the dies, I do have an announcement. I am officially launching a merch store. Officially have launched a merch store. So um, I did record a few things, um, which I'll show you guys. Sorry for the quality. I don't have a good camera or a phone, anything like that. So the quality is not great, but here we go. Um, but yes, I've actually opened my own merch store. So the link will be in the description box. Um, definitely check it out. So we do have some fun things like stickers and hats and mouse pads and a couple of mugs as well. Now I did think about doing clothing, but mm, I don't know, maybe in the future. Um, but at this stage, I'm just doing cute little things and the stickers I adore, honestly, absolutely adore the stickers. They came out so good. All the artwork um, I commissioned Raven to do. So thank you so much, Raven. You know that I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I absolutely adore your artwork. Um, and yeah, so check it out um, if you want to, but I'm so excited. It's, yeah, it's definitely a huge milestone for me. I never, never would have thought I'd ever have like actual merch. It's crazy. It blows my mind. But yes, so it is officially launched and yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, so. Let's finish up this video. I'm going to put on some nice music and we shall go through all of the like close up looks of the rest of the item. So thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Before we do that, there is um, a code. There's a code in game. So click on your tokens, go to redeem code. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's plenty of things that I'll miss for sure. But, oh my gosh, I nearly missed this one. Okay, so what you want to type is I dash heart velvet hearts. There we go. So I'll leave that up on the screen for a little while so you guys can pause if need be. All right. There we go. So that will give you five of your velvet hearts. So definitely use that because why not? <laughs> You might as well get five free ones. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. We will go through all the accessories and stuff like that. And I shall catch you all in the next video. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts too hard
I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile 